<laughs> so would you say to the people, what do you work? I work in finance. I work in asset management for, a, uh, for an international um, finance company. The main office, the, the head office is in New, in New York, but I have a big office in London. I'm an analyst. I love to analyze the world. So what do you do? You analyze things and then you give some report and they bring decisions based on your analysis? I analyze and mainly, uh, mainly, tell, cli mainly tell clients what's happening with the markets, what's going on with, uh, with, with, their pro with their portfolios. And I speak to a lot of other analysts and a lot of other portfolio managers within the company and we, we, make the, you know, we help to make decisions and it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a great experience to be in and I learn so a lot. let me abuse the moment. Yeah. Should we go to crypto or... <laughs> I'm joking. No, that's a good question. <laughs> but but the advice is not uh, for free, huh? So I know. Yeah. Well, it's not, the advice is that no, it's definitely for free. It is for free. Yes, it is for free because crypto, uh, not crypto, but Bitcoin. Okay. It's only about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is freedom, and this is something I want for everyone. Really. And this is this is. Um, something that everyone has to learn, they will learn slowly. Some people will not want to learn it because they're not used to it. They're not, they want to protect the system that, they're grown, that, that they, they, they do well in. But they don't realize that their system, or maybe they do, is not advantageous to everyone else in the world. So billions of people around the world are not having a good time right now. No. Well, we need to take the money away from the states. We need I think I should. I think I, I should stop you now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no. They're gonna misunderstood you. Yeah, that's true. I, I'm I'll afraid. Say, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, Sorry. I'm joking. It's a joke. I'll say. I'll say. I'll say it again. I think we need to. Um, well, I think we need to have hard money again. Yeah. We need to have good quality money. That's not. That's not subject to inflation, and as you know, inflation is what really has a problem in this world. Inflation is almost a tax. Especially this moment, if it's, I understand. Especially this moment. Since, especially since the last financial crisis of 2008, with the extraordinary stimulus that's been pumped into the, into the, mark, into, into the economies. And then since then, with, with the corona um, uh, uh, pandemic, unprecedented amounts of stimulus have been pumped into the economy. And of course, where's this money gonna go? It's, it's, got, it's gonna create inflation. Yeah. Whereas with Bitcoin, you don't have that. You have a cap of only 21 ever million Bitcoins that are going to be produced. And therefore, it's, it's, it's never going to be an inflationary asset. And this helps to protect people. And on top of that, it's censorship free. It's, um, it's very fungible. You can move it around. And it's what, it's what will help people be um, be help them be uh, an individual, so uh, uh, help people's individual sovereignty again. Yes. And this is helps for people's freedom. Well, it's, uh, I think it's very good that you said this because it brings me to the subject of uh, how the royal family could help their own nation. So it's not only about the diplomacy or contacts. Uh, there are some stuff that obviously members of the royal family knows and we could use them in Serbia or any other country. And um, this decision of yours that you are actually the members of the royal family but you don't live in Beli Dvor. Uh, you live uh, with the people, if I can say that. Uh, yes. In that way, možda vi možete da nam kažete kako je došlo do toga da niste na dvoru, da, da živite okruženi građanima, da imate poslove, da...